Hi, you've just tuned in to Body Quest, the program that examines what motivates ordinary people to make a physical change. I'm your host, Sebastian McLean. In this episode, we'll be meeting Todd Burgess of St. John, New Brunswick. Now, Todd's a man with an unusual goal for us to cover, and that's one of gaining weight. The reason for this is that Todd deals with a condition known as cystic fibrosis. For people dealing with cystic fibrosis, one of the challenges they face is that of gaining and maintaining weight. So what we've decided to do is plug Todd in with a nutritionist and a personal trainer. And in that way, we're hoping to show him how he can gain weight in a healthy fashion. My name is uh, Todd Burgess. I'm 30 years old. I was 29 when I first started the, uh, the uh, healthy living life choice, I guess. Uh, the reason I wanted to do this is because I wanted, I wanted to gain weight. Uh, I don't know if I necessarily needed to gain a lot, but I wanted to gain, you know, a good maybe 15 or 20 pounds or so. Uh, I always weighed around 130 to 135. Sometimes I get in around 140, and I got up to 156 pounds on this plan that, that, that you know, the weightlifting and the diet plan. And uh, it had, you know, nothing to do with uh, being a small guy or anything like that, just something that I wanted to, uh, to accomplish, something I always wanted to do, I guess, and never always had the excuse that there never was time to do it. That, that is probably the most common thing you'll hear from people is there's no time for it. I was three years old when I was diagnosed with, with cystic fibrosis and the, the person responsible for that diagnosis is most certainly my mother. Eventually she'd convinced it was a doctor in the uh, IWK Children's Hospital. Uh, you know, both my mother and father, you know, lugged this baby all around the, the province, around the Maritimes, trying to figure out what was, what was wrong with her son. So, big reason why I'm still here. Absolutely. I guess the challenge with me is, is that I was on, on a, trying to gain weight, and so I had to increase my calorie intake substantially. And uh, I have, uh, with, with the, the condition I have with cystic fibrosis, there are some, some, some challenges in terms of you know, uh, metab uh, metabolic rates are a little faster. I don't digest a lot of the foods. Uh, so I was on, it was, you know, it was about four to 5,000 calories a day. In trying to get this calorie intake together, the meal plan is very important because you can't just, you know, throw just, you know, uh, calories at, at a person. It has to be very well structured. There's quite a bit of work to it, putting it all together. So much has to be protein, so much fats. and. I was first approached by my uh, sister about this, this program, and she's the one actually uh, who put together a meal plan for me in conjunction with my d dietitian at the Cystic Fibrosis Clinic. And she's the whole reason I'm involved with the healthy living and, and uh, you know, making these better choices. Uh, my sister has, you know, always been my best friend ever, you know, since we were kids. We just, having watched her grow from from a girl into the into the very bright, intelligent young lady she is today. Well, Todd and Todd and me have always been really close. Um, we're only about a year and three months apart, so we've always kind of been best friends growing up ever since we were we were younger. Todd's goal was to gain about 15 pounds of uh, of muscle and to have to incorporate a healthier diet not only diet but incorporate a healthier way of life well when Todd was a kid he was always he was always smaller you know a little bit shorter a little bit a little bit thinner than than the average than the average kid I think the most difficult thing that he's going to find is his work he's you know involved in going out and meeting with people and always on the go so when he's trying to eat a diet where he's got six bigger meals throughout the day, <laughs> it's kind of hard for him to get that in throughout the day when he's always on the road. So I think that that's probably going to be the biggest challenge. That could be maybe one of the reasons as well why he wanted to put on a little bit of, a little bit of muscle mass and you know see if, if his body could allow him to put on the muscle mass. Sebastian uh, McLean was my became my trainer, and he shared that duty with another gentleman by the name of Chris Frost. And so they, those three individuals I mentioned there were the uh, sort of the the team I guess that kept me on track. And I was a 
extremely intimidating when I first met him because he was. It, it, I looked at his shoulders for just the size of my head. You know, he's he's, he's a big guy. So I immediately felt this surge of intimidation. You know, kind of rush through me. He's just your straight shooter, fun loving, really easy going. My kind of a person. He's just uh, very easy to get along with. So, but my first impression was I was very intimidated. I mean, here's here's a guy who you know I I wouldn't mind looking like you know in time, but. Uh, you know, clearly he's a he's a very disciplined individual. Uh, you know, to in order to achieve what he's achieved uh, uh, physically. So a great trainer, and uh, you know, I think had some. Uh, he has some hopes and hopes for me as well. <laughs> uh, my name is Chris Frost. Uh, I'm originally from Yarmouth. I moved to Fredericton to go to university. Uh, I've been weight training myself for the last five years now, and and uh, for the past four years, I've been competitive in amateur bodybuilding. With Todd, his goal is to kind of gain muscle and, and, and size and strength, and that's more my area of, I guess, expertise or what I've more focused on being that I do compete. And uh, immediately from hearing from Sebastian what, what the intentions were and, uh, you know, Todd's goals and, and immediately jumped on, I thought it would be a lot of fun and uh, very interesting to see how, how well he does and, and uh, hope to see him achieve his goals and, and beyond that. Uh, if you're trying to gain weight, and when we say that, obviously we're, we're intending to mean muscle, you know, good, healthy, lean muscle. And when you're, when you're trying to do that, you do have to uh, eat a lot of calories. You, you know, a diet, you want to be calorie deficient. Uh, when you're trying to gain weight, you need to eat more than you're burning in a day to supply your muscles with the nutrients they need to grow and become stronger. And the weight training is somewhat different as well. Uh, you know, you're trying to preserve as many calories as you're burning. You don't want to burn too many because you want those excess calories to be shifted into muscle growth. It's, it's very important to, to understand, uh, at least to a certain degree, the body's physiology and, and how the joints are supposed to move through the proper range of motion. Uh, it's one thing to come in here and, and sort of go through the movements, um, or just sort of arbitrarily throwing the weight around or, you know, going randomly through these motions. And it's another to do it properly, uh, both to stimulate the muscle in the proper way that you're going to achieve the results that you're looking for, and also to stay away from injury. Uh, the most common, obviously, are lower back injuries and things of that nature, and that's something you really want to uh, try to avoid with developing good core strength and keeping and maintaining proper uh, posture throughout uh, a lot of the exercises. Just pull up straight so your back straight. You don't want to just bend over or anything up, right? 